And I look forward to seeing how you move. You never fail, Heavenly Father. In the good or the bad, uh, you never fail. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, uh, please open up your Bibles to Isaiah chapter uh, 14 and Daniel chapter 12, please. So we're going to go to Daniel chapter 12. And then we're also going to turn to the book of Isaiah chapter 14. In the year 2021, a lot of people are going to be are wondering and concerned about the rollout of the vaccines and uh, how the new variant is going to change things, how they're going to keep changing the vaccines, and you know what will Biden do? And America is being taken over by socialism. What the world's going to collapse into? Bill Gates, he uh, bought. Uh, the largest types of land and etc. So we're all wondering about that in the year 2021 and one character that really piqued my interest during the year 2021 is Elon Musk. Elon Musk and Tesla. I, there's an interesting article here but this person he researched about Elon Musk's work and some of the videos actually hit very viral about Elon Musk's top four to five predictions about the year 2021. So the guy, he uh, did some stock uh, on Elon Musk's business and etc. And a lot of what uh, Musk said or predicted turned out to be true. The guy is undoubtedly a genius. If you look at his life, uh, how he climbed up the ladder uh, how he went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with many different businesses. I could tell that there's uh, something about this guy that would play a very pivotal role for the year 2021. All right, why would he be an interesting character to pay attention to, Pastor? Because he can change our world. He can literally change our world where technology and civilization will not be the same. And 2021 could be the year where it's starting the whole change of our civilization. You thought that Zuckerberg was a big thing with social network. You thought that uh, with Bill Gates, with his vaccine things that he's been trying to do to get all the world and to promote it and to take it and the liberal news media harping their garbage, the era of Trump, etc., changed our world. But Tesla is gonna be perhaps even huge, much more huge. So let's look at a couple things, and I believe that this can pave the way for the Antichrist in the future. So Elon Musk, whether good guy or bad guy, there are a few things that he intended and planned to do and predicted what would happen where it would change our world. There are several documentaries online. Of course, a lot of them are covering about end times and the conspiracies and the globalists taking over uh, through the vaccines, etc., but some of them made mention about, as you know, about the great reset of what's going to happen and how mankind is going to be more dependent on technology. One of these people who's practically China's Google brain, he mentioned that pretty soon we will come to a day and age where mankind will no longer be driving, that cars will drive for us. And Elon Musk is really paving a way for this one because... According to some of the people who researched him, they said the year 2021 is when it will start. So that's number one right here. Number one, that we will now get cars where they will drive by themselves and that people will start to become dependent on that. And then pretty soon uh, it's now going to even affect Uber and Lyft where they're not going to have drivers anymore but that these cars will be the one taking over. Why? Because it's going to be cheaper to pay. It'll be much cheaper to pay through those means. And the year 2021 is where it's going to start with that. Look at Daniel chapter 12. The Bible wasn't kidding what's going to happen at the end times, which some people, they did not even read the Bible or know about. The Bible says that at Daniel chapter 12, what things will be like at the end times at verse 4, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. So at the end, the book is sealed. Many shall what? 
run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So notice that the Bible told you that the end times, many are going to go to and fro. During the times of the first century, you weren't able to do that. The reason why is if a person was thousands of miles away from another person, there's no way they can communicate that immediate. But now today, because of obviously cell phones and then television and the Internet, it just goes like that. But especially with Elon Musk and uh, Tesla and the other companies that he's working together with, it's really going like this. Zuckerberg literally changed our world when Facebook came out and people just knew you like. And then Google came out and you just know them like. Like it doesn't matter if you're at the other side of the world or the country. They just know you like that. Type in a word at Google what's going to pop out immediately. So 2021 cars will be able to drive by themselves supposedly. And then pretty soon people who are driving cars they're not they're going to rely on the vehicle to do the driving for them. Now you might say, well not me. Well, you know, you might say that now, but if you study history and what men learn from history is that men never learn from history. Go back 100 years and think about your uh, other ancestors who thought that uh, I'm not going to let some machine do this for me. I'm going to do it myself. But then many years later, now they're using the cell phone when they said they, they're not going to do it. Now many of them are relying on the buttons, the Internet, to take care of things. And pretty soon, because of that dependent mentality. Why? Because it's easier yeah. and it's safer. How about that? Because you trust the machine's calculation more than yourself. And you might be tired. I mean... You might be driving by yourself all that time, but trust me, when you're going for hours of driving and you're sleepy, yep. you're going to be tempted to press that button. Right. So it's going to start out at the year 2021. So that's a big thing. So that's going to change the uh, automobile. That's going to change the car industry. I mean, he beat Toyota and I mean, he's hitting top number one. I mean, if it wasn't for this virus situation, he would have remained number one as the world's most rich person. But he landed number two. So this is pretty big. I mean, as thing, as the vaccines roll out and people try to uh, re rely on new technological means, guess what? Don't you think this will be much safer when there's no driver in there? When there's no one in there? And it's just a machine and you can depend upon that? But that's the great reset is that technology will be the stuff. That'll bring the that will deliver the packages in front of your doorstep through drones. The World Economic Forum played an advertisement like that before. So it'll be safer for Amazon then, where the people who are delivering the packages, where they don't infect you, and then the drones could do that for you one day. Wow. Keep your eyes peeled. So I'm not saying that this is what's definitely going to happen, but this is I'm talking about Elon Musk here, and he's been He's been hitting really high, really fast with this technology. So it's something to keep an eye out for. The second thing is satellite internet available to the entire world at the year 2021. So in internet, they're hitting, hooking up to 5G, but now some people are talking about 6G now, believe it or not. Some people are talking about 6G. And I think 6G would probably be better, but I'm not the technological brainiac, so, and I don't know everything what Musk has planned, but we're soon to see. But the thing is, is that instead of the internet going through, elect, uh, it, instead of the internet going through landlines, electricity, or on the earth, Musk, uh, Elon Musk already had like tons of satellites up in the air already, for some of you who didn't know. He already got the permission from the government and lots of them already up in the air. And if all of them are up in the air around the world, if you hook up your internet to that, then guess what? It'll be much, much more fast. So then all the net, uh, you'll be, t when you're tired of your iPhone loading, your internet loading, and then com constantly uh, contacting Comcast and Singular, uh, uh, no, excuse me, not see you at AT&T. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about the old days now. I'm sorry. I'm old. <laughs> so AT&T. 
and all that. When you're tired of the service, especially when you get another, God forbid, a second or third wave happening. And then all the internet systems and the companies are jammed. Why not go to the satellite dishes up there? And then you can get your connection like that. And in the comfort of your own home, while you're safe from the virus, you get your internet, uh, you get your electricity hooked up just like that immediately. Satellites. Now go to uh, Revelation uh, chapter 12, Revelation 12. So your hand's still at Isaiah 14. We're going to go there. Uh, go back to Revelation chapter 12. We're going to turn to Revelation chapter 12. Now, who's the one that inhabits the stars and up there in the universe at space? It's the devil. It's Satan. And he will have a play during the timeline of the tribulation. He's going to have war. There's going to be Star Wars up there. Revelation chapter 12. We're going to see verse 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil. And Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. Notice that at verse 3, And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. So Satan and his fallen beings inhabit up there in outer space. But remember the Bible says he's the prince of the power of the air. Now these satellites, I mean if they're all the way up there at outer space, could the devil have a play in that one? Well, they mention about one time where they launched a thing called Dragon, which is very interesting. That name, Dragon. And Satan is right up there at the stars, and then now people are launching a thing called Dragon, and Elon Musk is launching all these satellites up there. Could there be a connection, maybe? Well, with this next prediction, it's pro probably true. The next thing, the third thing, is that he's actually, believe it or not, he's trying to hit for the moon now. They're going to try to, they're going to try to land on the moon again, or so they say, right? So depending upon, you know, whether you believe that we really landed on the moon or not, but the point is, is that that is the next prediction, is that they're going to hit the moon. And then once they hit the moon, remember the scientist... Stephen Hawking and all these guys, they were mentioning, look, our planet is dying and we def, I mean, they all know that too. So then they said the only way that mankind can survive as a species is that we colonize up there at a different part of the universe. So then Elon Musk is, uh, I don't know if you knew this, but he has these rockets under the government's permission already. So then he's getting ready uh, from what I've read from some sources is that he's getting ready to launch one perhaps around October of 2021. So then they're going to try to reach to the moon. And once they do that, then he can have his dream and vision fulfilled. Musk has a very, is a very visionary man. That's why he was able to make big waves with technology. Because he has all these plans in place and he even gave up a, a lot of his money actually. He sold... Uh, I don't know uh, which part, but he sold his possessions on something just for this project. So then keep your hand on Revelation 12. Go to Isaiah 14. Isaiah chapter 14. This is a mentality that is Satan's actually. When mankind tries to reach up to the heavens, this is something that is of the devil. Now you might say, what's wrong with that? Shouldn't we uh, go up there and be safe and colonize outer space? Well, you got to realize this, mankind in his own efforts, that is wicked to the Lord. That is wicked to the Lord. Because that's something that Satan wanted. And God doesn't give mankind that. Go to Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weak in the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. So notice that Satan, he intends to go up 
above the stars up there. But what happens at verse 12, the Bible says he's fallen down, cut down to the ground. Revelation 12, that prophecy is fulfilled. He goes down to the ground. Look at how God thinks about mankind trying to go up to heaven. Go to Genesis 10. Genesis 11, excuse me. Genesis chapter 11. Genesis chapter 11. Look, God is not for this. Mankind trying to go up to heaven. God is not for that. You might think there's nothing wrong with that, but here's the key. The reason why God views it as wrong is because, see, mankind is relying on his own ability to do the feats of God. So because of that, God doesn't allow them to go up there. Plus, there's something up there. There's something up there. A lot of people who dig into conspiracies and stuff like that, they have some of these theories and they're saying that the government's trying to restrict people from going up there and etc. But I do know this is that there is something up there that God does not want people to have access to. But there is something that Satan wants mankind to try to get access to up there. Look at Genesis chapter 11 and verse 4. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make a name, see that? Lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. That's why God scattered them. Why? When mankind unites, they become a civilization, they increase their technology, and the unity becomes stronger, and then they try to play God. That's why technology, I mean, the Lord, uh, we were able to use it to glorify the Lord to reach many souls out there. But you got to realize that the origins of technology, it's actually bad. It's actually bad because that's something where it unites mankind even more together. And then mankind and humanism and civilization increases into what? What God always prevented throughout history, a Genesis 6 civilization. They built those pyramids. Why? Because there's that seeking up to go up to heaven. Look at Genesis uh, chapter 11. What did God do? He says, uh, verse 7, go to let us go down and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. All right. Going back to Revelation chapter 12, then the question is this, can mankind attain it? So this is what I believe. At chapter 12, verse 9, Satan and his fallen angels cannot have access to outer space. That's important. But what if uh, Elon Musk accomplishes it? And then, God forbid, as time passes by, there are human beings and people who reside over there and then start to make a colony. Well, that brings up something very interesting then. If that's the case, then the interesting thing is if the people are colonizing, in outer space and remember during revelation chapter 12 tribulation is already underway right mm -hmm. tribulation is already underway so you got some time where people are residing their tribulations already underway and not only that satan and his fallen angels are residing in space that time then genesis 6 could be much faster than you think they could be what? Mingling with the seed of man up in space. And then they can have their warfare against what? Michael and his archangels. We built a civilization. We built power. Now let's try to fight God up in heaven. But then what does God do? He casts them down. So Elon Musk's dream with all of his billions comes to nothing. And then they get cut down to the ground. It's either that or the other theory is he's not going to make it. When he tr launches it out in October 2021 and mankind try to inhabit it, the Lord's not going to give it to them. So it's either those two theory. So either they are not going to make it or they will make it and then the Lord's going to uh, defeat them in that war in heaven. And when the Antichrist runs with his kingdom and the false prophet, that's why it makes so much sense they're trying to fight against God. Why can he fight against God during Armageddon and rally the truce? Because those aliens kicked us out. We, we humanity accomplished a great feat, but now we got kicked out. 
So he's going to try to take back Earth away from us now. We can't let him take back the Earth now. We're going to fight him. We're going to beat God. And it's just like the Avengers where this uh, Thanos, you know, and that's so close with, uh, you know, Theos, but, you know, Thanos means death. But aside from that, we're going to we're going to defeat God. We're going to defeat Theos over here because he's just like he's just like a total dictator. And we're going to get all these Avengers superheroes where we mingled with the sons of God. And then we're going to get like a Tony Stark or Elon Musk. And we're going to have this Bill Gates who's going to. And we're going to have all these globalists who's going to pave the way. And then Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Faust, oh, Dr. Fauci, who's going to help out with the superheroes in their medicine. You, you, you see how I'm playing with words here, right? You notice that? You notice that? It's not, it's not, it's not far-fetched. Right. We're already conditioning and brainwashing our world already. Right, right. They played the movies. It hit five-star ratings, etc. Where they were able to defeat a person who thought he was God. But they said, no, mankind is going to achieve that. Woo! Nuts. All right. Next one. Now, this is kind of scary. 2021, humans will implant microchips into their brain to help cure illness. 2021. 2021. All right. Wow. So this is kind of crazy. So then back then, you know, last year, they would ban your videos for saying, you know, this is fake information about chips inserted uh, inside your arm or in your hand uh, through some vaccine. But this one, I'm not giving you fake news over here. This is something where Elon Musk with the Neuralink, as some of you have already heard about that, this has been going on for years. And if they implant these uh, microchips into the brain, it can help cure the illness. Wow, then think about this. What if uh, Musk, if he's going to play smart, combine it with the vaccine industry? who's making big money now, and think about it. I don't know if some of you already heard me teach about this, but China, they're leading the way for chips. Yeah. They're leading the way for chips. It's a bit, the chips are a huge issue now at this year, 2021. The government's wondering what to do about that, but they're becoming dependent on China. But maybe Elon Musk could save the day, probably. I don't know, but the thing, uh, to, to the American eyes, but aside from that, well, it's interesting Musk has now been having dealings with China. But aside from that, point is, is that we can see the, how things are being played out now. For some of you who didn't know, China already, all the way at last year of February, when they were uh, testing people of COVID and then trying to find the vaccine or the medication that's best for them, they are very reliant upon the chips to do it. So I'm not saying that there's a vaccine shot that inserts the chip, but what I'm saying is, is that when they're trying to help people with their COVID situation, they were using chips for that one. So we're not just too, so basically I'm saying we're not too far away. We're not too far away where during the 90s, preachers were warning you that the mark in the right hand or in the forehead, it could be those microchips. Fantasy will soon become a reality and it helps cure illness this thing, right? right? Why maybe even imagine if Musk is so smart that he found a way that it can connect to COVID in some way Man, that's just Okay, so that's number four. So it makes you wonder man Then the rapture is like yeah, we're very we're very close <laughs> yeah. We're very close like I told you before, I don't know. Now, please, okay, I'm, I'm sick and tired of some people falsely accusing me. I never said that the rapture, it has to happen 30 years later or hundreds of years later, or even I set a date for that. So stop falsely accusing me of that one. But what I'm saying is there's a possibility because I don't know the date of the rapture. It's possible it can be uh, years ahead or it could be the, tomorrow. It could be one year because the reason why is I don't want to – Tell you, I don't want to pretend that I'm know-it-all and tell you that the rapture happens within two years or something like that. And then two years pass by and then I'm a false prophet. So that's the reason why I say that. But the point is this. The point is, is that we are getting closer. Yeah. We are getting closer to the rapture because these things are rolling out really fast. 
That's number four. So let's see here. One, two, three, four. I feel like that I'm missing number five here. Ah, so then here's another one that's interesting. Go to Revelation. Yes, it is important. Go to Revelation 7. Revelation 6, excuse me. Revelation 6. So this is a short video, and I'll be done now. This is a short video. We're going to go to Revelation chapter 6. Here's something interesting. Now, you know what they're going to use? The next prediction, you know those... Uh, that solar energy and then how Elon Musk is concentrating on solar power, right? He has that for a reason. Why? He has another dream. This guy, he's got like 20 different dreams he's setting up here. This is going to change our world. Solar power. Mm -hmm. Now remember the devil, how is he powering mankind? Electricity, right? And electricity has a lot of negative connotation. And Satan uses that thing. So remember, I told you about that, but see, Satan, because that's his ability and power, right? I beheld Satan as lightning fallen from heaven. The cherubs that come out of Ezekiel chapter one, there's lightning that, there's electricity that accompanies them. So that's Satan's power. But think about this. Why aim for solar power? Because that's going to help mankind so much more is if you have power from the sun. I mean, think about uh, the bills that go up for technology and all that. I mean, it's, you're going to save a lot more money. Well, when the sun's out, then they can run with the leftover elect electricity power. But then when the sun comes up, then you can get your solar energy. And that's at the year 2021, 2021, where they're going to start launching that and it's going to rely a lot on the sun. Well, you know what I think? I think that it is possible. It is possible that that will happen in the future of the Antichrist kingdom. Why? Because Satan, he wants to imitate always who? God, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is known to be as the what? Son. Malachi chapter 4, right? Jesus Christ is known as to be the son of righteousness with healing in his wings. So Satan, what does he want to do? He wants to play God. Instead of electricity where that's his domain and element, he wants to get into God's element now and, and use God power and claim it as his. Right. Why do you think that Satan had such an infatuation with the sun back then, at the, all the way at the BCs? Having the people worship the sun. And the sun god was the chief god above a lot of other gods. And in the Greeks, their mythology, the chief god was the one who sent down the lightning. Electricity. How about that? Wow. Wow. Solar power will explode. That's the next prediction at 2021. Now, here's something very interesting, and I don't know if this one's true, but it was a very interesting prediction by this person who, who majored in business. But he supposes, and I think Elon Musk himself even predicted it himself, that he will become the world's most rich man and what i mean by that is this is i'm not just talking about top number one like we've seen at the past before what i'm saying is filthy rich because if the world becomes dependent upon these means of what transportation communication through satellite internet and colonization up there and energy that's where all your electricity and energy is from his fortune and his monies can meet up to where this person thinks that it, it's possible, he can reach to a trillionaire level. Trillionaire level. That's humongous. But here's something that's interesting now. Now, this is where I combine the thoughts. Because the Bible says that the one who's in charge of all the kings and kingdoms, where people depend upon for merchandise and religion, is the city of what? Babylon. Babylon. Now, here's the thing about Elon Musk. This is several possibilities. One, Elon Musk could be part of already the globalists and elites connected to the Vatican. And somehow his fortune and his money will be able to tie to Vatican banks, etc. Rothschild, who is a very famous banker, he's already called the guardian of the Vatican's treasury, you understand. 
So that's possibility one, is that he's part of the globalists. Number two, he's just a typical rich guy who has great visions and wants to achieve these feats. And that's the reason why perhaps he's not part of some of the globalists, because not every rich person is a globalist, you got to understand. But there's a good amount of them that are connected to it. But uh, Elon Musk himself, that's the reason why may, he may be a little different from the other people who we see it as part of the globalist agenda. Like during the coronavirus is a great example. He was not playing ball with them, right? In the Twitter, he made some uh, remarks and then Twitter uh, restricted him from that. So he might be the guy who's not playing ball and the globalists let him achieve it for them because globalists, they always steal. That's proven throughout history. Satan's men always steal right. from people. They always steal from people. Even scientific achievements, you'd be surprised. Satan stole it from godly men and godly Christians who achieved these scientific feats. And then the devil's men stole it for themselves and claimed it for themselves. Which is interesting. Musk could be one of those victims they're waiting for. If he achieves that feat and then they help him out with that one, then what? Let's somehow take it over. Let's take his over. Why? Because already they're saying that Zuckerberg, Facebook, and social networks have too much power, so there has to be government control. Why, when Elon Musk uh, has so much power, they're going to say right. government must have control. Right. The new world order must have control because we're just giving too much power to one man here. So that's another one. Number three, and this is probably the craziest, the craziest theory is that some people are interested in Elon Musk's children, actually. And there's a lot of weird conspiracies about that. But from his line, it could be the Antichrist. Now that's the craziest theory I'm going to give to you. It could be that from his line, perhaps, it could pave the way for the Antichrist. But just keep an eye out for this. We do know this about the Antichrist. So keep an eye out on Tesla... Elon Musk and etc. on the following factors. We know this. He's got to be tied to the Catholic Church. What? We know another thing is that he is a Jew. And then the next thing is that he's Syrian. Somewhere from his lineage, the third crazy theory is that somewhere from his lineage, there's going to pop out somebody someday where it's going to be Catholic, Jew, and Syrian. So keep your eyes peeled. But 2021 may be an interesting year. For what? Technology. That's the devil's goal. 2020 was breaking apart the businesses, closing down worship services, giving a trial run to see how the world will respond, right. Uh, right. doing mandatory measures where people have to comply for peace and safety, as the Bible predicted. Right. So that was 2020. 2021 could be people are so tired of that, we want to return to normalcy. In order to do that, we need yeah. greater technology. Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. So, I forgot to mention Revelation 6. Why, what do you think God did with the sun? He blocked it. Why did he send darkness? Because why are people afraid of the dark if we have electricity? Unless electricity is gone, and then we depend on solar energy somehow. And then that's the reason why God blocked out the lights. All right. So whoever thought of that. So that's found at what? Verse 12. I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal and lo, there was a great earthquake and the sun became what? Black as sackcloth of hair. There is something about Elon Musk ideals and technologies that he's paved way for that I really believe I really believe will pave the way for the Antichrist kingdom someday. I don't know all the specifics and a lot of the things I gave to you were theories, but I do know one thing from this entire teaching, 100%. His ideals, his technologies, the foundations he laid out will change history and will pave the way for the Antichrist kingdom.